I unplugged my Roku and hooked up an Apple TV 4K to show you the best feature that Fubo TV offers. Does this make the live TV service worth the price? Keep watching to find out. I've talked a lot on this channel about Fubo TV's expensive plans and missing channels, but I set that all aside and signed up again. Today I'm going to share my updated review and it all starts now. And let's begin with the multi-view feature because Fubo TV subscribers with an Apple TV device can watch on up to four live TV channels all on the same screen. You got to see how this works. Select the first live channel from any menu screen like here on the home screen or the live TV guide. I'm going to start from the live guide with ABC. This takes me to what's airing on ABC right now. So far looks pretty normal. But watch as I arrow up to select more live channels. I can now press and hold on up to three other live TV channels and add them to multi-view. First I'll select CBS. Now you see ABC and CBS together on the same screen. Take a look as I click the back button or menu key if you have an older Apple TV to add the third channel. I'll press and hold on Fox and now there are three live TV channels at once. I click back one more time to add NBC. Now you see four live channels, but the audio is playing from only one of them. Just use the left, right, up and down on the directional keypad to choose the channel that you want to hear audio from. You'll notice the white border and a volume icon that highlight the selected channel. Let's say you want to leave multi-view and watch only one of these channels. You can do that. All you have to do is highlight it and click through using the keypad. That channel will be full screen and then you can click the back or menu key to return to multi-view. Watch here. Long press on a highlighted channel from multi-view and you'll see these additional options. You can remove a channel from multi-view. You can change the view which reveals a mini guide along the bottom of the screen. More on that in just a second. Or you can move a channel to a different place on the screen. From the multi-view experience, I click back on my Apple TV remote. The live TV channels shrink and you see that mini guide again. From here, you can add, replace, and remove channels from multi-view. Also next to the channels option, right along the bottom of the screen, you can select widgets to see sports scores and stats from within multi-view. If you ever want to return to multi-view from this mini guide section, just click the play pause key. And when you're ready to exit multi-view, you can click back or the menu key a couple of times on your Apple TV remote. Then an exit screen, just like this one, will appear. Multi-view is pretty cool and I like how it brings that sports bar experience right to your living room. But know this, it is only available on Apple TV, at least as of this recording. Fubo TV says it's working to bring multi-view to other supported devices. And aside from multi-view, there are two things that I really like about Fubo TV's user experience compared to a service like YouTube TV, and these features do not require an expensive Apple TV. First, from the live guide, you can press and hold on a channel logo to favorite it. That way, it'll appear at the top of your guide, and you can also reorder your favorites right from your TV set with many devices. And second, when you're recording a series, you have the option to record new episodes and reruns, or only new episodes. Record a single episode or the entire series, and for sports, you have the flexibility to record a single game or record all games for a specific team. Plus, those recordings are extended automatically if a game runs long. Fubo TV definitely has a premium look and feel, but you're paying for it. This service is not for price sensitive customers. If the price isn't a deal breaker, the channel lineup may be. Fubo TV dropped Turner networks like TBS, TNT, and CNN back in 2020. Aside from that, the service does have a pretty good channel lineup. Content partners include Disney, Fox, NBC Universal, Paramount, Discovery, there are more too. Now pricing and channels can change at any time, so I'll drop a link below for you to review the channel lineup before you sign up. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with Fubo TV's multi-view experience, and I'd like to see other services offer something similar. But I'm not sure it's worth the price when you factor in the monthly cost of Fubo TV and the price of the Apple TV streaming box. For most cord cutters, it's just not a big enough savings over cable. Let me know what you think down below, and I'll see you back here soon.